The second type of standard calculations you'll see here are percentages of something. Now you'll notice here there's percentage of column total and percentage of row total. And then it repeats itself again, percentage of column grand total, percentage of row grand total, and so forth and so on, until the last one, which is percentage of grand total. So if we look at, let's say, this level here, when we talk about percentage of totals, are we talking about in terms of these totals versus these totals versus the grand total, which is 2,904 here. So let's start with the first one, percentage of column total. So the very first one is percentage of sales total in terms of, uh, let's just expand here to the very lowest level here. So we have, it's no longer a variance, it's a percentage of total. I'll rename my column, I'll actually make it a little bit shorter. So it's a little bit easier to, to, to examine here, but let's take a look at what happened here. Percentage of column total. So if the total in this case is 1692, that would represent 100% of the total. And of course, Americas would be 52%, Europe 48%. That is based on these numbers. So let's see what happens when we expand this out. And we have a another breakdown here. We still see America's total 52%. That does not change. 48%. That still needs to add up to 100% here. Uh, but you'll notice here that now these items here are no longer referenced to the grand total here of 100%. Uh, Canada in this in this case represents uh, 56%, 492 sales. Uh, versus 44% of 390, which represents the 390, totaling 882, which is the 100% of these two items. And again, there's a breakdown here as well in terms of the uh, uh, the European region. 54 and 46 is related to the group that we're in. As we expand even further, you'll see that again, this needs to add up to 100% of that entire group, totaling 56%, which in turn needs to uh, into the Americas of 52%, which in turn the 100%. So this is how the the percentage of column total works. Um, it it is based on the on the total column here. Now row total is exactly the same way, um, but you will see now this going this way. So instead of let's just switch it here to row total. And you'll see that the 100% now lies on the row at the end. So now we're looking at per region. What we're looking at is we need to identify between 2021 and 20, uh, 2020 and 2021, the percentage breakdown that adds up to 100%. So in the first case, we were looking at the distribution or percentage distribution of the total across regions, whereas here we're looking at within each region, how is the percentage distribution on a yearly basis adding up to 100%. So what is the difference between that, let's say, and going back to the column total, which is always a little bit easier to visualize, I find. What is the difference between percentage of column total versus percentage of column grand total? So let's see how the numbers change. Now in here, the numbers did not, uh, did not change, but as we expand down, you'll notice that now these numbers here, the 12% of Montreal, which used to be, this used to add up to 100% of the region of the hierarchy. It now is showing Montreal is 12% of the 100 percent shown here the 1692 okay so that is a grand total here that is now all calculations you've seen here are now related to that so at all levels so if we expand at the country level uh 29 23 26 and 22 together those items need to add up to 100 percent i really hope they do i'm not doing the math quickly here but um they should do and and that gives you an idea of what Canada represents out of in 2020 out of all the sales <coughs> across the um, uh, across all regions. As you expand and Montreal, you'll see that Montreal is 12% of the grand total <coughs> of all the regions. So this is very useful to identify the participation of each individual level in, uh, element within the grand total of things. The last one is the percentage of grand total. Now. If 100% here was the 1692, this is represents 100. Now you can imagine that where we're going to be looking at is across both 2020 and 2021. Again, looking at that example that we were looking at of Montreal, uh, it was 12% of the yearly of 2020. But 
what is the percentage of uh, of that year Montreal uh, across the grand total of things so by changing that um, oops yep percentage of grand total I should change we saw 12% there before for Montreal it, it now stands to reason that it's much lower the grand total now includes two 2,904 includes both 2020 and 2021. Now, in this case, this this particular calculation does not make a lot of sense as we're comparing two completely different years, um, or maybe it does, depending on your use case. But the idea, again, is that you, you'd be able to use this for other R keys, including uh, categories, product categories, etc. And you're trying to identify um, what is the percentage of that specific product across different regions uh, for the entire portfolio of products. So that could be very useful for that.